Okay, okay, okay. So the lapis lazuli is uh, specifically for the third eye chakra. All right, but that's purple. But it can also, since it's blue, it can also help with your um, throat chakra. Um, it's a stone of royalty, apparently. So we're gonna go to the history first. Power, wisdom, and truth. Okay, now out of the history. It stimulates wisdom and good judgment. Excellent for executives, lawyers, psycholog psychologists, or those giving advice to the public. So basically, anyway. Uh, it, it, it's inspiring. It promotes self-awareness and blocks negative energy. Perfect for cleaning emotional baggage. Helps enhance your insights, awareness, and truth. Great stone for meditation. Now back to the history. This was treasured by Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, Greece, and Rome, and other... Oh, wait. And Roman ancient civilizations. Egyptians use it for sleeplessness, melancholy, and fever. And I'm not saying this will break a fever, but it's just interesting that that's what they would use it for. Uh, maybe back then they had more power, like everything was newer on Earth. Um, it can help clear emotional baggage, brings mental strength. So it was perfect when I got this one because I was like filling down and out, you know, a little bit. Uh, promotes self-awareness. It promotes inner truth. It can provide relief for suppressed feelings like anger. It can awaken inner strength. Recommended by some Buddhists to help people find inner peace and dispel negative thoughts. It can help promote self-confidence and manifestations. Works with throat chakra, throat chakra, like I said earlier, like I guess because of the blue. Uh, to bring about one's true artistic or business talents. It can help you see the bigger picture. Truly the bigger picture is uh, in like an IMAX theater. Oh, is it? it? Yeah. Lapis Lazuli, man. This is a gift from Vino. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to the iPod squad. This has been one of my favorite. And you know what's interesting is the universe will not let me be greedy. I tried to buy another one. And I think I lost it. I don't know if I gave it to my son. I need to see if he has it. I mean, I don't need to, but I have, I had two, right? I bought one, but I already had one. So then I lost one, right? This one was like in my yoga mat. And I hadn't like stretched or done any exercises in a while. So I, I opened up the yoga mat and it fell out. And then not, not long after that, I lost the other lapis. So it's like the universe is telling me you only need one lapis at a time. I love it. 